All right, what's up everybody? This is Chris, um, and today I'm gonna show you how to color grade within Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you how to take footage like this and turn it into this. I realize there are other software out there that can um, <clears throat> do better than what Premiere can do, but um, Premiere still has uh, a, a good tool for color grading called Lumetri Color, and uh, that's what I'm going to be explaining today. Um, I've taken three uh, little clips out of a, a little montage that I made um, from Highway 1 in California. The um, place is beautiful, and it's really fun footage to color grade, because uh, the colors are just great. But um, I'm going to get rid of um, my uh, <coughs> Lumetri color on all of them to show you how I color graded these. You can see now these are very flat images. This is the way they recorded within the camera. Um, I used Technicolor Cine Style, which is a um, picture style preset that you download um, online. You can put it on your camera and if you shoot with it, it makes color grading so much easier. Um, I'll put a link in the description so uh, anybody who is really interested in um, color grading can download that for your, for your DSLR camera. Um, so let me go into my effects and I'm going to type in Lumetri color. I'm going to drag it onto my clips. Double click, open it up, go into my effect controls, tab at the top. The metric color is on it. The thing that I always do first when color correcting is go into my basic color correction and turn the contrast way up. Probably all the way. I think, yeah, 150 is as far as you can go. The reason you do this is because Cine, Stellar, or Cine Style Technicolor, um, the preset itself is just very low contrast, low saturation, and they, they do that to give you more freedom when you're color grading. So you can see already that, um, you know, from here to here, it already looks cool. There's more contrast. Contrast is good when trying to make things look professional and good quality. I would also bring down my highlights a little bit to try and get a little more detail out of the sky and the waves here. You don't want those whites too blown out, maybe just a tad on the whites. Um, you can also bring up your shadows. Those are the dark areas in the trees, maybe just a tad up um, to get a little more detail in the darks there. Um, you also have here your temperature. You can you know, make it a little more warmer, give it more of a sunset sort of feel. Or if you go left, you make it a little colder, um, you know, cooler feeling. Um, and then you also have tint. Uh, warmer is, um, I think I guess it's yellow and blue, and tint is green and purple. So you can sort of give it a purplish tint or sort of a greenish tint. I never mess with those a whole lot. Sometimes I will if I have a shot, um, you know, that's shot at sunset and is very orangey. I might make it a little more blue by um, pulling to the left on here on, on my temperature um, scale there. Uh, the next thing you can do is go into creative. Um, you have all these looks that are um, you know by default just within this effect here within um, Lumetri Color and you know you can you can check them out you can click on them see what they look like and it pretty much just, it, they're all presets and they sort of do the work for you. I never really use these because I like to do it myself. Um, so I don't mess with that. But what I always like to do is sharpen it a little bit, maybe up to like 15-ish, just to make it a little sharper of an image. And I'll usually bring up the saturation a little bit. It's, it's, all, it's normally at 100, I put it at 105. Just because, like I said, in uh, Cine Style Technicolor, um, the preset uh, makes your camera shoot, you know, with less saturation. So you add that in here um, in your color correction. Um, I also like to just for the fun of it, put a little fade in um, 
on the, on the video. And I just, to me, I think it looks cool. Um, it looks sort of vintagey. Um, you know, it, it's not, it has nothing to do with color correcting actually really. It's just a cooler effect that Lumetri has. Um, I also like to put a vignette sometimes, and this also doesn't have anything to do with color grading. It's just a preference that I have. Um, so into sort of the uh, more complicated part of color correcting. Um, with Lumetri Color, you have this color wheel. And what you do is you place keyframes along this ring here, which I'll do. And I'll show you. Um, once you have that keyframe down, you can drag out. And that, what this is going to do is make your blues a lot more saturated. Um, this will make the light blues a lot more saturated. You can see how it's changing in the image there. Or you can desaturate them all the way until it's, you know, there's n no blue of that color or you really bring out that blue. So, you know, you could do that a little bit here just because there is blue sky and it reflects in the water here. Um, actually, I might bring it down a little bit. Um, I can also bring out my greens a little bit. Because there is a little bit of green in the image there. Um, there's a little bit of orange, which, you know, is brown, but um, See if we can find that color and sort of bring it out a little bit. Just like that. And um, that, uh, that's pretty much the basic uh, function of like the color wheel. And then you have your um, curves. And I think real experienced um, color graders use this a lot more than I do. But basically you can click and drag and um, play with the exposure a little bit. You can go to the red, green, blue, your RGB curves, play with those a little bit. I don't really mess with those a whole lot. I just, um, I stick with the color wheel and uh, all this other stuff that I've been talking about. So I'm going to go through um, these other clips here and do the same thing. And um, I'm going to follow pretty much the same process I did with, with this first one here. And uh, I'll show you how they turned out. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, color grading can be really fun. This is a very basic uh, tutorial, I know. Definitely check out the Cine Style Technicolor link in the description and uh, have fun with it, guys.